Hey guys, Buffer and Game back today, bringing another video for our Weapon Blueprint series, and today we're covering the Black Cat Blueprint unlocked through the Season 5 Battle Pass, or the Battle Stream, turning this into a different variant of the AKS-74U. So we'll go ahead and jump into that. Also stay tuned, I'll also post in the description down below details for the giveaway. I will be announcing the giveaway winner tomorrow, so today will be your last chance to enter that giveaway. So I'll post details down below, and I'll discuss it more further in the video. So let's go ahead and back out and get right into it. So here we have our AKS-74 unit variant of the Black Cat here available in the Battle Stream. So let's first off go ahead and we'll back out and we'll look in the Battle Pass for the Battle Stream for where we unlock this. So this is unlocked a little bit later in the Battle Pass here at Tier 71. So here we have the Black Cat available at Tier 71. And you can see here the weapon unlocked. This again is a Shadow Company variant of the weapons that we're seeing with this season's theme. So let's go ahead and back out now and we'll jump into the customizations for the weapon back into our custom class where we have this pre-built. So here we have the Black Cat. What I'll do here is first we'll strip it down to base. So something else a lot of you may have noticed, and I know a lot of you have been commenting on Twitter and YouTube here in the comments, is that a lot of the blueprints now, when you strip them down, retain uh, different furnishings as they, than they typically would. So here, if we had stripped this down prior, we would have had the old rustic wooden handguard and the rustic wooden buttstock as well as the grip and the magazine so now we have something very similar to the warsaw blueprint we have the black polymer handguard and the buttstock as well as the pistol grip and we also have a fresh new looking magazine here so when we strip this down we have a newer looking variant of the weapon which goes along with the stamped receiver versus the milled receiver ak's in the game as well as we have the rib dust cover that's retained here as well so first off for the barrel attachment we're going to go ahead and want that 8.1 inch compact barrel so again, this is the barrel you want for the AKS-74U. This is going to assist with the aim down sight speed, the movement speed, the cons, bullet velocity, and recoil control. And then you can see the difference here versus the base with that old rustic wooden handguard. We have the Freedom Fighter, which is a newer AK-74 style handguard, which goes with the actual AKS-74U. Newer wood. Then we have the Duly Devoted, and then the difference here with the Black Cat. So we have that grip that we would see on a lot of the AK-74 series as well as a 100 series of AKs with the grips on the bottom of the handguard there where you see those lines there for grip gripping so go ahead and select that we're going to skip on the laser now for the optic oddly enough we're not going with a Russian optic for this one we're going to go with the GI mini reflex sight so again just precision sight picture and the con here being ADS speed and you can see the difference between the base and the black cat a little bit of a difference here and we have some different writing on the weapon as well or on the optic there which we'll go over now for the stock, we're going to go ahead and want the skeleton stock for this. So this is going to assist with the aim walk and movement speed and the aim down sight speed. The cons here is the aiming stability. And first off, you can see the difference versus the base folding skeleton stock, which we would see on a, on a typical AKS-74U. The Revolution, which is from Farah's blueprint for the AK-74. Dewey Devoted, Dusk Ripper, and the Black Cat. So very similar to the Dusk Ripper as well as the Revolution blueprint. We have the, It's a German type skeleton stock there. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the next attachment is going to be a perk. So we're going to go sleight of hand for a reload of quickness. And then the ammunition to go in line with the AK-74 series of rifles, especially the AKS-74U. We're going to want to change that magazine from a 7.62 by 39 millimeter to a 5.45. So again, you can see the magazine option here. This is going to assist with the fire rate as well as the recoil control. The cons here being the damage as well as the range since we're going down to the 5.45. Four, five by 39 millimeter rounds and again you can see just the different aesthetics for the different blueprints for this magazine the black cat gives us a nice clean standard 545 magazine so that's pretty nice to see in the game here this is the final design for it again this is the black cat for the aks 74u and again you can see some details there we'll go over here in a second but first off for camouflage just so you can see how it covers everything minus the magazine and the upper portion of the handguard as well as where the front Iron sights would be on this weapon as well. So we can go ahead and put something like a Spetsnaz Red or an Autumn Dazzle on there. You can see how that looks. Nice nice and clean looking camouflage on the weapon. Go ahead and back out. Now some nice things to note here are if we go ahead and preview the weapon really quickly, we see the Rook on the right hand side here. I'll go ahead and back up a little easier. So we see the Rook there on the left hand side of the weapon or the, the, uh, the symbol for Shadow Company. And we also see some different symbols on the left-hand side of the reflex sight. Other than that, everything is the exact same with the same standard charging handle, the middle, or excuse me, the stamp receiver versus the middle receiver. We have the rib dust cover as well. And we have the dovetail mount for the optics there 
also. So one thing to note that I think would be pretty cool to look at is if we wanted to make them more, I know a lot of you are going to be familiar with this Zenico style AKS-74U with Zenico parts. One thing that would be cool to see if we put the steel curtain buttstock on there, and then if we were to, oddly enough, with the base AKs, we would get the lower lower receiver would change based on what we attach here. So if we were put a grip on, we would get more of a, uh, a Picatinny type lower. I'll show you here if I go ahead and just deselect this, and we'll go ahead and put a grip on so you can see a little bit different of a lower receiver there, depending on what grips we were to put on the weapon. So I think it would be really cool if in the future, if we put that 8.1 on, if we were to put on any sort of these grips like a Merc, Operator, or a Ranger, if it just changed the whole handguard to a Zeneco style handguard, then we'd have a nice modernized Zeneco style AKS-74U, which would be really nice to see. And we could even do a Picatinny rail dust cover from maybe Texas Weapon Systems, which a lot of the spets now use, or on that front optic there that you see there, the adjustable optic right above the handguard. Uh, there is actually a Russian mount that goes on there, which has the rail system on there, and the optic would be mounted there. Or if we had a Zeneco style handguard, the optic itself could be mounted on the top of the handguard because it will have the Russian version of Picatinny rails. So, that being said, this is the Black Cat for the AKS 74U. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay now. So, first off, you'll see the recoil on the same as the standard AKS 74U's that we've done, or the AK-47, even though we've stripped down to the 5.5 magazines, there is still some heavy recoil. I would really recommend swapping out the sleight of hand for some sort of grip, mainly probably a Merc or even a Ranger, just to help control that vertical recoil. For Oddly, it's pretty odd that the 5.45 rounds have such heavy vertical recoil. However, we do have a smaller handguard here or a barrel length for the 8.1 inches, so that does make sense. So I would recommend that. Put on a grip, just help you control that vertical recoil a little bit. You'll see that issue that I have in some engagements outside of probably 20 meters. It's a little bit difficult to control and keep shots on target without that front grip. So first off, back to the giveaway details. I'll be giving away a $30 gift card to two winners here for your console of choice, whether it's Xbox, PC, or PlayStation. So I'll leave the links to the videos that you can comment on down below. To enter, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and then comment on one of, you, don't, you do not need to do both, but one of the videos listed down below, those being the weapon conversion videos for the AN-94 Avacon, also the APC-9SD. So comment on one of those with your console or your system of choice, whether it's Xbox, PC, or PlayStation, and then something you like or dislike about Season 5, something you want to see coming to the game, and I will be selecting a winner most likely in tomorrow's video. So go ahead and you have a time to enter that if you haven't already for tonight, and then tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I'll be calculating the winners and just running that and doing the random scripting to pick the winners, and I should be announcing that again tomorrow night. So go ahead and do that if you haven't. Again, description is for that gift card giveaway is down below in the description of this video. So that being said, I'll leave you guys with this gameplay. Just some comments, I like I said there with the Zenico discussion, I was saying, since we have seen quite a bit of AKS-74 use in this game as well, it's nice to see a nice blueprint like this. Again, minor differences from the previous ones that we've seen, though. It's really not that different from the Duly Devoted. I'd really like to see a Zeneco style weapon parts added to the AK for not only the AKS 74U like we just discussed, but also for the AK 47 weapon would be really nice to see as well. They give us a much more modernized version of the weapon. If anybody's familiar with Larry Vickers, he has a video out there that was basically a very popular video for the Alpha AK, which is basically what the Spetsnaz Alpha Gru are using right now. It's a very heavily modified AK-47, AK-74 series of weapons, very similar to how here in the United States we heavily modify our M4s in the military. So here for the Spetsnaz, they heavily modify their AKs the exact same way. It's called the Alpha AK. And again, very different design. If you haven't looked at that web, that video by Larry Vickers, go ahead and look that up. I will be doing more videos on that. I know I've been preaching this basically since the game came out. But this would be a great blueprint, not only for the AKS-74, but also for just the base AK. And they kind of have something similar with the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel on the weapon. However, that's a Midwest Industries Gen 2 M-Lock handguard. But that's really just nitpicking. I think that handguard's fine, but I would really like to see more Zeneco style attachments on the weapon. I think that'd be really nice for the AK-47 and the AK-74U. Just a different variation we can make here. It'd be really nice to see a much more modernized version 
of these weapons. So let me know down below what you guys think. Again, this is the Black Cat Blueprint for the AKS 74U. I'll leave you guys with the gameplay for this. It actually is a very effective weapon. Again, the only difference I would make is I would put a grip on this versus the sleight of hand just because if you're going to be engaging outside of 20 meters, it's a little bit hard to keep your shots on target due to the recoil with the 545 rounds, which I, I'm actually surprised it's still so much compared to the AK, or excuse me, to the 762 by 39 rounds. But let me know down below what you guys think. What kind of blueprints would you like to see for the AK and the AKS 74U? Just the different variations we can make here. Would you like to see something like a Zeneco style Alpha AK? What kind of parts would you like to see on that? Whether it's a blueprint, reskin of the weapon, or a whole new weapon added to the game. Let me know down below what you guys think of that. What you think of this blueprint in general. What you think additions could be made to make this blueprint even better for future seasons. Maybe we'll see something. Or maybe we'll see stuff like this added in Modern Warfare 2 when that comes around. So let me know down below what you guys think of that. I'm just going to leave you guys with the gameplay here. And as well as the description for the giveaway is listed down below in the description. And until next time, this is Buckner Gaming with the Black Cat AKS 74U. Till next time, Buckner Gaming out. Ah. out. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. Here, here. Changing mag. Ugh! <laughs>